To the west of North Uist, in the Outer Hebrides of Scotland, there sits a small collection of three largely forgotten islands, known as Ilan Hishke, or the Monarch Islands. Legend tells that the lands of Monarch were torn from Uist in a storm of biblical proportions. The wild winds and thunderous rains split the island apart and cast them out into the sea. It was at this point that many believe the spirit of the storm was bound to the future of the islands, and some would even tell that the wrath of the great storm would manifest itself as the dreaded Ikushka of the Monarch Isles. Ikushka is the Gallic term for water horse, and as a mythological creature, it is thought to be distinct from Scotland's far more famous water horse, the Kelpie. Oftentimes, these creatures are swapped and substituted for one another, and it can be hard to determine which creature any specific tale refers to. Yet, on the islands of Monach, we know for a fact it was the Kelpie's more violent relation, the Hushka, that ruled. For centuries, it was known in the islands that haunting the very depths of the Loch of Virtues was a monster among monsters, a water horse whose power and ferocity was unmatched in Scotland. Many a long, dark night was spent by the locals deliberating and debating the best way to rid their lives of this fearsome evil, but all plans had come to nothing. And with the beast left to roam free, the people were subjected to horror after horror. Eventually, it had gone on for far too long, and too many sons and daughters had been taken by the water horse. And the locals had decided to abandon their homes and flee for the mainland. It was at this point a voice was heard from within the crowd. A native woman by the name of MacLeod stepped forward and told the gathered locals that for many years she had been raising and feeding a bull, which she believed had grown so much in size and strength that it may even outmatch the Ahushka. The people were not entirely convinced, but decided to put their exodus on hold until the bull had met the water horse. At length, MacLeod led the great bull forth to do battle with the water spirit, as the pair reached the bank of the Loch of Virtues, the woman hid herself some distance away, and the bull happily grazed at the loch side. As the agonising seconds ticked by, the woman sat with bated breath, waiting the arrival of the dreaded water horse. And after some time, the bull seemed to become restless, kicking and tearing the ground with hoof and horn roaring out a challenge to the beast which lurked beneath the water. Then, as silence fell across the valley, the dreaded Ehushka lifted its weed-strewn hair from the glass-like water and step by step emerged to face his foe. The waiting bull saw the waterlogged creature covered in seaweed and decided to charge headlong at his rival. The water horse lowered his head and the beast connected with an immense thud as the bull hit the horse at full speed. The powerful water spirit took the initial hit with great resilience, and was only moved slightly as his feet were pushed backwards through the mud. Both creatures then began a battle of strength, each one pushing the other with all its might. Yet on the land, the heavy hooves of the great bull dug deep and slowly the water horse was pushed back. It seemed as if the bull would easily win the fight, as the horse continued backing up. But this was all part of the cunning Ahushka's dreaded plans. The bull had now pushed the horse deep into the water, a place where the spirit was far more comfortable. Suddenly, the horse threw the bull to the ground, and beneath the water it fell. Quickly followed by the Ahushka, 
A titanic struggle then took place as water was flung high in the air. The waiting McLeod woman could only occasionally catch sight of hoof or horn as the two creatures flailed in the loch. Then as quick as the commotion had begun, it ceased, with the water returning to its glass-like nature, and once more an eerie silence fell over the loch. The woman waited for some time, but no sign or sound was heard. As the sun fell in the sky, she returned home in the hope that the beast had been defeated. On the next morning, it was said that a bloody set of lungs washed up upon the bank, but the locals knew not whether the lungs had come from the horse or the bull. Yet as the days continued, there was no sight of either beast, and as the years went by, many now thought the islands to be safe from the evil creature, and it truly was bested by the great bull, before the poor bull itself succumbed to the watery depths. It is said by many in Uist that if you visit the Monarch Isles, you will see where the bull tore the ground with his hooves and horns, near the loch as he challenged the great Ichushka. But there is another possible version of events that was only told late at night and in hushed whispers. The locals knew all too well that the Ichushka was far more powerful than a common bull, and although the creature put up a valiant fight, it clearly lost, and it was the lungs of the bull that washed upon the banks, meaning that the horror of horrors, the spirit of earth-shattering storms, still lay hidden within the darkest depths of the loch, perhaps injured by the bull, and slowly regaining its strength, waiting once again to feast on locals, and bring calamity and destruction to our world. Thank you for listening, and a special thank you to my wonderful patrons for supporting these videos and helping keep the tales alive. Slanjva.